They were stories of, of uh, crime and punishment. Somebody committed a crime, or somebody was cruel, or somebody was trying to steal, or do some other uh, immoral, illegal act, and getting away with it, vis-a-vis -vis so many of the things that are happening today. Uh, and who had to punish them was generally the sheriff. There would be lynching parties, or there would be a single man who would not be a vigilante, but he would solve the problem. He'd have the courage to go in and tackle the problem himself. But he had the gun, and he used the gun. He was faster, he was quicker, sharper shooter. Uh, and I felt there was too much of that. There was too much of that. There was too much like Burial of the Fruit, my novel, where I, I showed, again, who put the gun into this young boy's hand? Who trained him to shoot, to kill? Who trained him not to value union life? That's where the responsibility should be. So, in a sense, Vin Bonner was the avenger, the man who applied summary justice, but he did it by execution. Bam! Uh, and we were able to, by developing the other characters, by giving Michael Landon things to do, by giving Dan Blockett things to do, by finding an actor named Long Green on that, at the studio and watching him stand toe-to-toe -to -toe to, with Ward Bond in Wagon Train. And Ward Bond was something of a bully, you know, and uh, he was big and powerful. And Long Green stood right up to him, the same size, and didn't take anything from him. Gave him, you know, uh, in a sense, uh, tit for tat, wham, and right back at him. So I, uh, we happened to meet him after that at a party, and he walked in, and I said, that's the actor. And Rose says, that's your Ben Cartwright, she said. Um, and was she ever right? So I, I hired him to be the father.